<laughs> All right. Dang. Ready? What to do, y'all? Let go, let go. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Prince. It's your boy Hot Carl. And you are tuning into the podcast, chopping it up. Cha cha cha, chopping it all the way the fuck up. I know what I'm saying. Me and my nigga, we just came to link up. That's right. You know, just chop it up on some dumb shit. What's going on in the world today? That's right. They think it's a game, but it's not a game. Okay, we're coming in here talking hot ass heat. You know what I mean? We're on video. I don't know if you motherfuckers see my haircut, but my shit's on point. And it's for this, okay? I got a $40 haircut when I normally pay $30. Forty dollars yeah. motherfucker. Pre-tip. And I did that for this podcast, Yo, so nigga, you welcome. I spent $55 on a, hair, on a haircut last week. That's and too much. Let me, t- too let me much. tell you, and the sad thing is, he wasn't even black, y'all. Oh! He wasn't even black. <laughs> you, this is the reason why I got this on right Damn. now. This is the reason why. You see? This nigga brought my... Look, you see this lineup, bro. Alice you said Ford. you got that cut yesterday? Nigga, no, I got last week, nigga. <laughs> Last week, bro. Look at this shit, bro. It's terrible, man. He looks like he bit it off. Fuck <laughs> you, bro. Fuck you, bro. I don't Damn. know if he was Mexican or Armenian, but I would never do that again in my Well, life. if you guys want a legit cut, whether you white, black, Hispanic, and, and fucking Asian, uh, Puerto Rican, whatever you is. Go to his mama's house. <laughs> yeah, she, she just, she'll, she'll <laughs> slap you in your mouth. But... Go to Royalty Blends on La Cienega. That's what that's where it's at. Go check it out. I'm telling you right now, man. That's where you go get a legitimate haircut. Forty dollars pre tip, but it's worth it. I'm telling you right now. My shit ain't gonna grow back. My shit gonna stay like this for a good month. When'd you get that? When'd you get your haircut? Yesterday. Yesterday. For oh, this. So he's for fresh. this. Yeah. This nigga literally went out to look. Hey bro. Good hey bro. Uh, uh, can can I get a little bit of that Jack right quick? Can I oh, can, oh, can I get some oh, of that Jack oh, real quick? Oh, you know, oh, I'm oh, just oh, trying to oh, see if I can get a little bit of that Jack. You know me. Okay, okay. You know me. Just I didn't know if you wanted me to get a little bit of that Jack real quick. You know me. I think it's a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Say we chopping it up, man. So that's what we here for, man. So that's right. What you want to What you want to uh, start it off with, man? Better yet, how was your Fourth of July? Look, right? let me tell you something about my Fourth of July. I'm oh, hungover man. right now. Me too. All right, we we I, I'm <laughs> fucked up. Uh, it was cool. It was kind of hard to 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 celebrate this Fourth of July. Why is that? You know what? All the shit going on in the world, bro. You know what I mean? I I haven't worked in a few months and shit. And you know, listen, man. I'm I'm of ethnic. Uh, uh, background, you know, and you know they try to say that like you know black people. I mean, I'm not saying that black people don't have the the the, the shit end of the stick because they do. Careful. But bruh, careful. I'm gonna tell you like this, bruh. <laughs> Latinos got it bad as a motherfucker too. Yo, do yo as bad as a motherfucker too, bro. Worse, nigga. Bro, let me tell you something. I grew up in Boyle Heights, right? That's in East LA, and uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I just shit. I I got hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I grew up in I grew up in Boyle Heights, right? And over there. You get harassed by white cops, of course. There's white cops everywhere. Majority yeah. of the police force has to be fucking white because that's all you ever see. Right. But, but the worst part about it is when you get cops that are Latin too. They're Hispanic just like you, bro. And them motherfuckers think they're something else. Right. They that's like just they the worst, it. bro. They feel like they made it. Bro. Niggas too. Niggas, niggas do that too. Especially bitches, black, black females. Who yeah, white key. men. Low key, they Low they key. feel like they are made it. Yep, <laughs> like they on another standard. Or I mean, but okay, look, if we keep it a hundred, Hispanic women too. By today's standards, if you are in a white neighborhood, or if you date a white person, or 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 you know, if you have something that is Caucasian in your family, or or you're doing something around white folks, that's considered success. Let's that keep it a hundred. Low key true. That Let's is keep it a hundred. Low key true. Bro, that's I live in Santa Monica, bro. True. That is a white neighborhood. And let me tell you something, bro. In a white neighborhood, I don't give a fuck what it is, bro. I can tell people, hey, I live in Santa Monica. Oh, you doing good. Them motherfuckers ain't even see my house, bro. I, my shit's falling apart. Look, <laughs> my shit. look, let me tell y'all something. It, it, out, out in LA, it's all about your status. That's right. Who you are, who you're with, what you got, and what you know. That's right. You feel me? That's right. So, for instance, I used to live in the hood. I used to live in Inglewood. Yep. Most of you guys know Inglewood to y'all is Ooh-wee. technically the hood. But really, Ooh-wee. to LA people, it's really not. I mean, it's, it's okay. Compton is the hood. N- I- it's up for debate because nowadays, you know what I mean, there's gentrification left and right, bruh. Like, there's some spots where it's just brand fucking new. Yeah, but Inglewood, Inglewood's friendly to me. I don't consider it the hood, but other niggas, <sighs> other people consider Inglewood, like, harsh. Like, yep. oh, shit. Yep. You feel me? Yeah, I feel but that. When I used, I used to drive for Uber, right? And when I used to tell people where I lived, I'll be like, oh, I live in Inglewood. They would kind of frown. And they'll be like, yep. hey, you yep. like it over there? Yeah. How is it? 
I say I live in Encino. They be like, oh shit, how'd you get a place over there? You can afford over there? Damn, niggas are like fucking happy, bro. It's a right. status. It's right. a status. And the thing is, I don't live by white people. Yeah, I live I'm by a whole lie, bunch bro. of Armenians. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Armenians, yo. Armenians are white too, though, low key. Let's give it a hud. Them niggas are balling. Bro, they balling. <laughs> and this shit that. don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> Y'all niggas are balling. Bro, it, I don't know how the fuck they make their money. They own car dealerships uh, or, or they, they they forge checks and shit. Especially in this drought right now, nigga. You know niggas ain't selling cars right now, but them niggas still got money, bro. The they fuck? still got money. We in a pandemic. Always, bro. Look, hey, man. Shout out to all Armenians everywhere. I went to high school with a bunch of them. And I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Ain't none of them broke. <laughs> ain't none of them doing bad right uh, now, bro. Ain't none of them doing bro. bad. Yep. Only thing bad with their women, their their women don't age well. Their women do have some of the fattest asses on the planet, though. When? What age? Are you kidding me? Right what now, age? Bro? Are you kidding me right what now? What age? Bro? All ages. Uh, fuck. Are you babe. kidding me, bro? I don't know. Uh, look, if we pull. I'm. You know, matter of fact, when I edit this, I'm just gonna pull up right now. Yep. Like, right in the middle, I'm gonna have pictures of Armenian women. Kim Kardashian. I, you, I thought she was playing. She's motherfucking Armenian. How dare you, bro? Don't disrespect the most famous booty on the First planet, of all, bro. That all is right, the most right, famous booty. Let's get booty on Kim. Let's get on Kim since you want to bring her up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First of all, I'm not attracted to Kim Kardashian. You I a hater? Think, it's not that I'm a hater. It's just that one, bro. She's fake. She has all that fucking shit. She has all that, all her ass. Her ass doesn't even look real, yo. Okay. Her ass doesn't look real, dude. That's not that's not sex, that's not pleasing to me. It's okay. Fake. It, it's not pleasing to me. Fake titties. No fake ass that looks that fake. No, it's just not good. I I don't fuck. With Okay, quick question. Quick question. Go ahead. Would you like to see Kim K's butt on your dick? Who would it? Exactly. They just you can't be talking that I shit. Mean, who would it? <laughs> you know but I mean? I'm saying if I had options between Kim Kardashian and an average bitch, I might choose an average girl. Define average. I mean a girl that's not I mean I'ma say not an average girl, a normal girl. Which is the same thing. It's okay. literally the same, same thing. thing. I mean, I don't know how to explain it because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, <laughs> offend anyone. I'm just saying, like, He's y'all know what fucking Kim, Dar- uh, Kim Kardashian is. She's uh, known as exotic, pretty much. She is, bro. Exotic. She's got everything, bro. I don't bro. want an exotic girl. I, I'll, I'll choose a non-exotic girl before I choose an exotic. Bro, girl. those titties like are nice. Bro, that hip, the, the, those hips, perfect. That booty, fat. All the angles look good on camera. I'm just going to throw this out here. That might be too much for you, Carlos. Have you ever uh, handled a woman with that much stature? Should I pull up pictures of my lady right now? <laughs> should, should I pull up some motherfucking 48-inch uh, booty right now? Should, should, saying, I, should I show you what hot car has to do on a daily basis? That's a woman. They, you think it's a game. See, this is, this is the problem. The problem is you think hot car can't handle a, 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 a full-bodied woman. And I'm going to tell you like this, sir. Hot car got a 13-inch dick. This is not what this podcast is about, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about our sizes, the length, the, the growth, or whatever you want to I'm fucking call it. I'm extraordinary. You know feel I mean? me? We're not going to talk about that. But, but uh, look, to go back to the Kim K situation, bro, she's Armenian, okay? And if you say that Armenians ain't got no booty, they got booty, bro. First of all, she got her shit done. It so, does not count. So? So? It does not count. If you get the shit done... It's not hers. It's technically not hers. Yes, it does, bro. Yes, it counts. Yes, it counts. Plastic booties are big old booties. It doesn't matter, bro. I want to smash. Have you ever felt a, a, a plastic booty? Have you ever felt a fake tits? Have I ever been to Hong Kong and Mexico? Yes, I have. And have I <laughs> touched some fake ass? Yes, I have. And you liked it? I, it was bomb. If it's done right, if, if it's not good... Then the shit don't feel right. And he said Mexico, so I know it wasn't done right. Oh, that right. shit was right. I know it wasn't done right over there. They do a lot of sketchy shit over there. I wouldn't right. trust it, nigga. Ooh. They did that surgery with forks and knives, y'all. Fuck that. I'm telling you right now, look, bro. Fuck look, that. Until you go to TJ and you go to Hong Kong Gentleman's Nightclub and you touch on some of that exotic booty, then you, then, then you can't be talking that shit. Because I'm telling you right now, bro. They got some... Good plastic surgery down in Mexico, bro. I, I doubt it. Oh man, I, I doubt it. Y'all, let us know in the comments. Would y'all, would y'all, ladies especially, would y'all get some surgery done in Mexico? Mexico? Yeah, Mexico yes. with fork spoons and knives and fucking. 
and you know, fucking. What do y'all? What do y'all? What do y'all operate? They over give there? you. They let you hit the blunt for 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 do, sedative. Do, do y'all like? Do y'all do the surgery the operation like in the house or like? What? I have no idea, bro. I ain't even Mexican. And you know what? That's racist, bro. I'm, right? that's, you know not what? Racist. that's racist. That's racist, bro. Not, I've never <laughs> been. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this nigga to educate me. I'm you telling you right not now. Look, me look I'm not educated. I am gonna keep it hundred. There are places in Mexico where you can go and you can get some legitimate surgery for cheap. Right, and I'm talking legit surgery, bro. But there's also majority of the places where you can go, and they're like, "Hey, man, we'll do your titties for 500 bucks." And you know, bitches that want to be a part of the culture that ain't got the money to sustain a lifestyle that 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 these rappers and and the and these model bitches have, they go down there that they spend this money, and then you get fucking stuffed with whatever the fuck they want to stuff you with, bro. It'll happen. It'll happen. If you go to Mexico and you come back on your way back, bro, people are trying to sell you puppies. They're trying like like you'll be waiting in line in your car and people are trying to sell you like pug puppies and shit. You buy one, that shit's dead by the die by the time you get back to the motherfucking states. <laughs> Dog, you think I'm bullshitting? There is so much deceivery, but if you got some good money, you can get some good surgery down in Mexico. You know what's so cool about Mexicans? <clears throat> Them niggas fuck with each other. You hear what this nigga said? This yep. nigga said they be doing some sketchy ass shit with their products and stuff. Yep. But they're Mexican people. They still fuck with their people. Yeah, bro. Black people? Hell no. Nah. If a nigga fuck up on one little thing on their little, you know, business, we do not fuck with them. We pretty much blackballed them. We pretty much canceled their business yep. all in one. That's the reason why black people, we got to work together. Yep. That's what we got to do. But that's a whole other. That's a whole other. We, that's a whole other we can get into that. That's we can get into that because I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. That there's way too much hate in this motherfucking world right now, bro. It really there is. There is way too much hate, bro. We all just need to get along a little bit more, bro. Like, look, I, I was on Instagram, right? Which sh- shout out to self isolation 2020, bro. That's all I fucking do nowadays, bro. I spend so much time on Instagram. Let me tell you something, bro. Before self isolation, I don't like to call it quarantine because this ain't no real quarantine, bro. Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever seen quarantine? You got to be put it. in a fucking tent. This okay. is our quarantine, though. This is self-isolation. All right, we got to stay at home, and we ain't got to do shit. But I'm going to tell you this. Prior to it, my iPad, my iPhone, it would always tell me how much time I spend on it, right? At most, on a daily basis, I would spend like maybe three hours on all my devices. Three hours on my iPad, on my iPhone, bruh. Since, since isolation, bruh, I'm talking six hours plus on, on all my devices. So what are you at, nine hours now? Bro, six hours a piece. Six hours. I'm so gonna... so so like I'll do six hours a day, bro. That's majority of my motherfucking time. Just I, I got a, I, I got a part time job on my iPad. Just bullshitting. What what is that? See, I got screen time. Average thirty nine thirty nine a day. Oh, this is on this. That's percentage, bro. That, uh, no, but this shows uh, your average report a week on how much you use it. Thirty nine minutes. No, that's on this though. I was just on this. Well, my phone is. Yeah, I wouldn't use that iPad either if I had that shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nigga, this is what I draw on, nigga. That shit ain't, that shit ain't no high tech. This is the draw on, nigga. His password is 1234. Fuck this. <laughs> it's quick. Anyway, uh, but let's, uh, let's get into it, man. Let's just get with the shit. Let's, let's do it, bro. Start. So, uh, let's get to this DJ Academic. All right. So, um, recently. DJ Academics has been canceled. I don't know if you know. He's been yep. canceled from uh, Complex yep. for like two days off two days. of uh, Everyday Struggle mm-hmm. because of his recent events yep. online on Twitch. Mm-hmm. This nigga's been going off on yep. fucking Freddie Gibbs, Meek Mills, mm-hmm. uh, just because. I don't even know. Like, Here's the thing, bro. Look, what's new? Though you know what I mean, like that. Th- this is his mo. This is what he does. Thank this you. is what made academics academics is the fact that all he does is talk mad shit. You know, every now and then he'll give a good interview, but he's an instigator, bro. That's what he does. He instigates True. issues, and you know, he never gets held accountable for it. It's fine. It, I, I like the fact that he's being held accountable. I think what what I think the thing, or like the incident that that canceled him. Was that he was talking shit about uh, uh, Chrissy Teigen? Yeah, I think that was the problem. And I'm just like, bro, like, okay, look, man, she's in white world. See, the thing is, he be fucking with niggas that are in the rap industry, is which is basically the black world. Yep. But nigga, he stepped out of his comfort zone. One hundred percent. He got out of pocket and he started talking about the white, uh, you know, this woman that's in Hollywood, yep. actual Hollywood, yep. nigga. And that's what really fucked him up. Yep. And that's the reason why he's canceled. He out. thought he could get away with it too because her husband's black. But I'm gonna tell you like this: white people love. John Legend, bro. No, oh, yeah. Why people love John Legend? I think he's on their team. 
low, low key. We don't even cause low I don't key. think we can claim them. I'm a, a, let me tell you like this though, bro. I saw him live one time, bro, and I have never heard so many women scream. Actually, I lie. I saw Justin Bieber in concert one time, and that shit. <sighs> the amount of women that scream for that man, bro. Deafening. I didn't even want to be in that bitch. I was a hater. I was like, man, fuck this dude. He ain't even all that sexy, bro. <laughs> Pause. But, but <laughs> yeah, Logie, Logie, pause, 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 pause. Please. But I'm saying like this. I grew up with a single mom, right? Yeah. And my mom always taught me a man never argues with a woman. A man never talks down to a woman. Even even if you hate the bitch, you could you could be mad as fuck. Get 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 your sister, get your homegirl, get somebody to fuck her up. But you, as a man, are not supposed to be talking that shit. Dude, what are you supposed to do? I don't like that. I, I actually I actually disagree with your mom. I am not in a disrespect. No, of course, of course, of course, of course. I say that because uh, that man who listens to that advice means that he's going to be weak. He'll be a bitch ass nigga if he doesn't know how to stand up for himself to a woman. If you don't because if you're not if you back down to a woman because you don't want to argue with her, then she's going to rule you. She's going to rule you. Oh, you're going to let bitches rule you for the rest of your fucking life if you go by that philosophy. Now, I'm just saying. Okay, heard. Now, th- 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 this is where and that she, and, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there too. Yes. You did say she's a single mother. Single mother. So she's going off a perspective of how she's been treated. So that's how she told. Of course. She laid it to him. Of course. I'm going off that. But I I I feel like that advice was be it's misconstrued right there because um what happens is not once did she tell me not to defend myself if something's happening no, I, I am never going to be susceptible to a woman taking advantage of me right i'm never yeah. going to be susceptible to a woman cheating on me i'm never going to be susceptible to uh, uh you know a woman taking me for my money or none of that shit you got to stand up for yourself in certain situations but if we're talking about petty issues where like a woman's like fuck you eat a dick you you small dick motherfucker this this and that or or, or in academics case where like he just got you know he, he says that he got slighted like back in the day or whatever and now he wants to speak on it and he speaks very roughly about Sorry, a woman who? that's the shit that's the shit that you're not supposed to do according according to a single mother that has been through that has been through a bunch of shit what her, her advice is never argue with a woman argue as in physically go back and forth with a bitch that's the problem now if a bitch wants to try to you know if you come back home and the bitch is fucking somebody beat that bitch up if if, if, if you come home and you see some money's missing your motherfucking in your account you know grab the bitch by the hair and say where the fuck my money at you know what i mean <laughs> that shit is a-okay if a bitch slaps you on the street that doesn't mean you can't get hit back i mean let's keep it a hundred but never argue with a woman that you know, never get into. I say not in argument. public. Fuck that. Never argue with a woman in fucking public. You do that <laughs> shit all you want behind closed doors. Disrespect in public. Yeah. Don't fucking do that shit in public because one, you're gonna look like a bitch in public, and you don't want to create a scene like that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Women, you know, just just you look like the bad guy, really. Like, look, a man is always gonna be wrong in an argument with a woman. Yeah. A okay. Woman's always. Always. Right. A woman cute. is always right. Listen. Yeah. Do you know that in 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 custody cases for a child, a uh, it is almost guaranteed that that baby, no matter the situation, is going to go to the mother. That's because the mother is always going to be right. The woman is always going to be the A-side in an argument. Yep. That's why Halle Berry's ex-husband is a motherfucking G. Because Halle Berry's ex-husband, I don't know if you know about this, that white dude, he, they, they divorced and he's getting child support from her. Mm. Bruh. I think there's someone else that's doing Ooh. the same thing. Oh, too. fuck Kevin Federline. Yeah, dude. Hey. Niggas are, yo, niggas are coming up. Kevin yo. Federline in this book. Now, now the check this out, though. Tell us, because I still haven't sipped. You know I mean? All right. Well, slipping. Here's the thing, though. You got to notice this. Kevin Federline and, um, and Halle Berry's uh, ex man, they have something in common. What's up? They're white. That part. All right. They they think it's a game. It's not a motherfucking game. I'm telling you right now, bro. The privilege is real. Uh, b- 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 even, but we got to act. Okay. Or, now or, back or, to academics. Because <laughs> see, we we could talk forever. Here's the thing. Academics. Th- this is why I'm okay with him being canceled for two days, and this is why I feel like he can be canceled longer. Because at the end of the day, the shit that he said about Chrissy Teigen is mad disrespectful. 
Very Mad true. disrespectful. He's talking about take your fat fucking lips and and and, 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 and all this shit and go buy your husband's album because your husband ain't sold no albums. Yeah. All that shit. He did numbers talk. He was numbers. He was talk. talking numbers, all types of shit, bro. Look, man. At the end of the day, bro, you on Twitch playing a video game, bro. Just do what the fuck you were doing, bro. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? The thing is, let me tell you. If you don't know, this nigga just bought a house. Yep. He just bought a house. So he's, Flexed he's, it, too. He's flexing. He's yep. doing himself. He's got money. He's balling. This nigga was literally calling out Freddie Gates like, yo, show me your numbers. Yep. He was like, show me your numbers. So he's really confident. And yep. that goes to tell you, show you, money changes you. And that goes to show you, that goes to show you, that controversy and bitch assness will get you a large amount of motherfucking money in this world. Yeah, Shout really? out six nine. I mean, if we're gonna keep it a hundred, bro, be, be, being being controversial, acting like a hoe, disrespecting all the shit that you learn on the streets, you know, all, all the ethics, all the codes of honor and shit, disrespecting that shit and putting it out will get you famous, will get you rich, bro. And that's where I feel like, you know what I mean, nowadays all this shit is slipping up, bro. Like, nowadays, anybody can get famous. All you got to do is talk mad shit. That's all you got to do. You just got to be a bitch. And, or talk, you need to talk mad shit. Just do something very controversial. That's what it is. If you do something very controversial, controversial as fuck. that's what it is. And the thing is, when you do that controversial thing, you either got to come up from it or it's going to break you. Make it yep. break you. Yep. So the thing is, you got to make sure you take that energy or that juice or whatever is happening in that moment from that controversial thing that you did. You got to take it and run with it. Mm -hmm. Don't take it and like... I don't know what to do with it and fumble with it. No, you got to take it and run with yep. it and turn it into something good. Because that's what a lot of people do now. Take, look at Bad Barbie. Uh, bad Baby? Yeah, Bad Baby. I mean... Is she 18 yet? Uh, I don't know. Is okay, she, then I can't say nothing. I can't say nothing. <laughs> you know who is uh, past 18? Who? Willow Smith. I need to see She's pictures. I don't, I don't know if She's she was 19. ever sexy, bro. I don't know if she was ever sexy, bro. I gotta see pics. I, I, I would say I, I discovered she was attractive after 18. I'm gonna need to see that, bro, because I haven't She's seen fine, recent bro. Willow Smith she, pics, bro. You haven't been watching Jada's Red Talk? Nah, bro, I haven't Table been watching none of that nigga. shit, bro. Nope. Oh, nope. bro, you tripping, nope. man. You're, he's tripping. But anyway, back to DJ Ax. This is the way I feel about DJ Ax. Let me tell you. DJ Ax is necessary for the fucking culture. Uh, he's put on a lot of artists. Yes, he's put on a lot of artists okay. of today. Okay. Uh, he put on the mumble rappers that you guys listen to, if you guys listen to them. 21 Sav, Lil Uzi, uh, X Tension. He he's the one that brought them kind of mainstream to the world. He was reporting on them, bro. He was reporting on them, bro. He was reporting. He was reporting. Once I started getting, uh, I, once I started listening to them, that's when I started like checking out all these other artists. If it wasn't for DJ Act, I wouldn't know half none of these artists. And that's real shit. I give it to him. Only thing is, oh no, G, DJ Act speaks facts. He doesn't lie. Does he? Can't even be hot. Yeah, he doesn't right, lie. He right. speaks facts. And only thing is, only thing I say bad about him is he's biased towards six nine. Cause six nine, his shit is bullshit. Yeah, his bro. numbers are bullshit. But instead of DJ Act making a video about it, he won't call it out. He won't call it like it is. He'll sugarcoat and dance around how it is, but he won't really say it when it comes to six nine. And that's the only thing grievance I have with him. But other than that. That nigga's doing his thing, bro. If fuck anybody says about that nigga, bro. If we are jumping on the 6 9 conversation, I'm going to say it like this, bro. Go ahead. Look, all right. He marketed himself a certain way initially. He's a gangster. He has fucking rainbow color hair. Ha ha, I'm untouchable, right? That was his initial shit. He was a fucking big time gangbanger, right? According right. to his, to, to his, to his, uh, to his fucking perception, you know, the, the way that he's looked at by the people. Everybody thought that he was this big gangbanger, big part of this blood gang or whatever, and, you know, he, he's out here getting his. Now, but you can't, I mean, like, okay, he's a bitch. Everybody hates him. Everybody wants to fuck him up. But, like, if you watch, if you really watch what he's doing, bro, like, he's slowly moving away from the gangbanger bullshit and he's becoming a legitimate troll like he's a fucking troll now bro like everything um, he does is to I, piss you I, off i don't know if you know notice but he's always been that way and then two i'm gonna, I'm gonna break this nigga down straight up okay. let's do it for one this nigga had a chance okay this nigga had a chance to like clear the air and why like, you know oh yeah i snitch i do this i do that no this nigga came out talking shit Talking shit. Yep. 
talking shit. Yep. This nigga wants people to hate on him and yep. be mad at him so bad. Yep. He repeatedly keeps saying it because he wants people to be mad at him. Yep. No rappers are talking about this nigga like, yeah, I'm mad. Yep. Is that, nigga, no one gives a fuck about that one number one spot. Yeah. Especially if it's not earned correctly. He is at the number one spot though, bro. He... No, he, for, he was only there for one week, and on, on top of that, it, it, it is the biggest fall off in history <laughs> from the number one spot. He pissed off Billboard, bro. That's what he, like, like it, I, dude, I see past that nigga's game. I see past it. He's not like his music's not that good. Yeah, is it? No, no. Yeah, it's not that good. It's not. It's nothing special. Pretty good. I'm not saying it's good. It says all right. His music is good. It's yeah, all right. I'm not saying that. Lie, bro. That shit turns up, bro. Like, <laughs> but it's nothing special that stands out. Yeah. That's my that's my issue. I can see if this nigga was putting out this music that was very special and it was just hard and res- it's just too resistible to not listen to. But it's not that. The fact that he just keeps saying, oh, my music is shit and I'm number one and these are percent That's what is bringing views to it. It's not the music yeah. itself. Yeah. It's him talking about. It's his controversy. Controversy. That's how he's marketing himself. That's the only way he's going to get money. That's the only way he stays relevant. Even with everything fucking going on, he has to bring the attention to him to say niggas are mad because he has number one. But isn't that the rap game though? No, it's not. The, isn't that the fucking rap bro, game nowadays, what rapper, bro? What rapper is talking about? Oh, nigga, I'm number one. You never hear Future talk about being number one. You never hear Drake talk about being number one. You never hear Beyonce talk about being number one. You never hear Kendrick talking about being number one this nigga has to he has to say it 24 7 to make people know to make people be mad bro he has to he has to it's, it's a, a part, part of his thing though bro that's what i was saying like he started off with that heavy fucking gangbanger fucking sound and now he is just a legitimate troll like all of his shit now is Ha ha! You're mad. Fuck you, bro. Even even his even his Instagram lives or even his Instagram posts, bro. Like it's all him with like the most annoying fucking filters you can find on a man. You know what I mean? And he and, and he's chewing gum and shit. And, and, and yup yup yup. And he's fucking flexing and do, just pissing motherfuckers off, bro. And, and I'm so hot that I kind of want to watch the video. Like I want to just go over there and hate, bro. It's fun to hate. I'm not gonna lie. The nigga's entertaining as fuck. I can't I even be hot, bro. I'm like not, I really want to watch him get beat the fuck up and every time i see him he's not beat up and it makes me want to watch that shit again shout out floyd mayweather it's the same shit it, 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 if you watch floyd fight i watch floyd to watch him get beat the fuck up and it never fucking happened he is the greatest of all fucking time the thing is how you gonna watch him get beat up when he can't step outside and there's that then there's that <laughs> then there's that you'll be waiting a long time you ain't bro. seeing that man out in the open anymore you know what I'm saying? he ain't doing the show bro and, then, I, and this is a crazy thing me and my friend we were having this conversation when he first came out he was like yo six nine successful and i was like you call that success he can't really stay outside he really can't move out he wants like is that success his baby mama's getting fucked by every other rapper on the fucking is game. Is that success? His, his, he can't see his baby. Is that success? I mean, if he wants to go and do shows, he has to do it in the UK. Or on live. On live. Or on his Instagram Oof, live. I mean, just like, come on now. Is that is that success? I mean, yeah, he's success. He got money. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, call it a day. But morally, is that success? You lost your dignity. You... You lost it all. I feel... You did the most for fame. And that's... I think that's the sad part about it. You know what I'm saying? And I even say probably two years from now, this nigga probably won't even be anything. Or we probably won't even be talking about it. Here's the thing, bro. I don't even think, I think he'll be around. And at that point, I think he'll just be like a, like, like, like a comical figure at that point. I don't even think he's going to be, I think it's just going to be like, oh, haha, look at that fucking clown 6 Well, the thing is, how long can he keep up? You're mad. Haha, you're mad at me. Because that gets old. That's the thing. That, no, you cannot, you can stick, you can have a formula that works. Mm-hmm. But that formula can get overdue. People can get bored of that same tired flow that right. you keep if doing. Floyd, over if and Floyd over were to over. come back today, I would buy that pay per view to see who the fuck. But he's it's Floyd. Fight, bro. It's Floyd. But this is this this is Six Nine's antics to sell or to be relevant. Yeah. How to stay relevant? Yep. This is his antics. Yo, you're mad at me. You're mad at me because I'm number one. Yep. I know you're mad. You're not saying it, but I know you're mad. Hey, I know it's crazy right now, but hey, I know you guys are mad because I'm number one. 
I'm number, number one. one. Even though my track is going to drop in, in uh, drop, uh, drop the next week. Even though I'm paying for my views, I'm doing some sketchy shit behind. I got this. Fuck that nigga, bro. Now, fuck that nigga. Th- okay, this is the last thing, and then we're gonna drop the whole six nine. Please. Do you think he's ever gonna get killed? Uh, I honestly don't. Th- this is the thing. Like I said before, this nigga has to keep people in his mind. Yep. He, he, he has to do that. He has to put himself out there to keep people in his mind. Yep. And the thing is, niggas don't care about him. Yep. They don't care about that number one spot that he has. No one doesn't care. So I don't think no real rappers, not even Meek Mills is going to like do something. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because he's not wor- worth it. I don't think he's But you do got to remember that there are people that are in jail because of his testimony. Okay, I mean, those people who are around that, uh, those people around that, that's a different story. But rappers in the rap game, other other than that, I don't think so. But I don't know. I don't want to wish upon no one's death. I only want to see him death. I would hate to see him die. I would hate to see that Instagram post on fucking Worldstar. 6 9 has just been murdered. I would hate to see that. So Do you know how much, do you know, I, I guarantee you, if that were to happen, that would be the most liked Instagram post of all time over that stupid fucking egg that got all those likes. Remember that fucking egg? Oh, I forgot <laughs> about that egg. Was that in That, bro, that shit still has a page. That shit still has a, It tours now. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. This world's crazy. Um, so off the six now. Off, uh, off the six now. Let's Check this out. What you got? R.I.P. Pop Smoke, bro. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. Share the way I move. Bruh. Share the way I move. Share the way that I move. Share the way that I move. So, y'all. Let, bro, how do you feel about the album, bro? Let, let's get on. Bro, let's listen. Shit. Now, check this out. This is how I got put onto Pop Smoke right now. I sent you the album, right? You did not send me the motherfucking album. <laughs> you did not send me the album. But I'm going to say it like this. Look, the first time I ever heard 6 9 it was it was after his death. I had never heard of him until after his death, right? And after him dying, I I I, I subscribed to Tidal, right? And on Tidal, bro, they're pushing they're pushing Pop Smoke left and right. Pause. You just held my hand. You gay. And uh, <laughs> so they're they're pushing Pop Smoke hard as fuck on Tidal. So I was listening to just you know every now and then every now and then in my playlist a track would pop up and it's Pop Smoke and I'd be like. Damn, who the fuck is this? Mind you, he's dead already. I never heard of any of his music. And I was like, damn, this shit sounds good. Right? And then I was like, oh, shit, that was possible. That shit sounds good. Damn, that sucks. He's dead. You know, who, who knows what he could have done. Is this recently? No, um, this was like after he died. I, I, I subscribed to Tidal. I, I, I got oh, my... Oh, so you really just got... Bro, like, like, bro, let me tell I you something. I came in front to y'all. Only song I knew was the... Dior? Yeah, that's the only one I really knew. She let the waiter to... Bro, God... Damn, what a fucking track, bro. Bro, you know what? New York, shout out to New York. Y'all always put out the best music. Y'all always put out summer bangers. Whenever whenever New they York say hip hop is dead, New York always has something to say about that. New York without summer bangers. I'm not going to front with y'all, bro. Y'all do, hands down. All right, Pete, look, but here's the thing. So I would listen to like one or two tracks in my playlist, and I'd be like, damn, this dude was must have been really good, bro. Then this motherfucking album dropped. Then... This motherfucking album drop, bro. Woo! He's low key like 50 cents. Bro, you, you told, told me that shit, and I was like, I, I, bro, I concur. I 100% agree with that bro, shit. Bro, they kind of sound like he, bro. And I was listening to this album, I was like, bro, this would be the album with 50. If 50 kept going, yep. This is what out, if 50 album would sound. If 50 came out today, it would be Pop Smoke. Oh, hands down, bro. I know I'm saying if, if 50 kept like onto the music game like you know kept pursuing music you know what I'm saying I feel like his 2020 album would sound just like Pop Smoke when you told me that shit when you compared him to uh, uh, when you compared Pop Smoke to 50 Cent I, I went back cause I have I have the Get Rich or Die Trying CD bro I was a big ass 50 Cent fan bro in middle school that wasn't his first album was it? I think it was his first one if his first album that, that's sold me bro that is a fucking classic so I remember when I was in middle school that shit came out bro that shit had me ready to fucking die for absolutely nothing bro <laughs> Bro, that album, bro, when that album came out, that shit had me ready to fuck some people up, bro. Like, that album was the one. Here's the thing. Pop Smoke doesn't have that 
gangster fucking, fucking feel, feel but like, god are you damn sure? cause that, that first bomb, half bro. nigga Shh. the first half of that album is some gangster <laughs> shit my yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, shit I was like oh shit Bruh. but I mean look 50 Cent came hard as fuck like Pause. surprisingly 50 Cent surprisingly bro 50 Cent's first album bro even his second one bro even his second oh, I, one I talking about on this album uh, 50 came hard cause 50 hasn't been coming hard these past Woo! he has a big that feature he did that, that feature he did uh, on the Pop Smoke album oh, god damn bro I was like bro everything's coming back and that's the fucked up part bro is that it's a posthumous album which means I don't know if I said that right somebody fact check me but I think it's a posthumous album which means that it's after his death and that's what fucking sucks bro is that we will never hear anything from him again no we are no, they ca- no 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 trust me I'm pretty sure they have probably over a hundred tracks. You think so? Oh, for sure. You think he recorded like that? Look at X. Look at X. They're still putting out music today, and half of those songs that they are putting out are not the songs that he didn't even finish. They're they're trash as song, but yeah, I know like (laughs) I know like when it comes to album making, they usually make like a hundred songs to like complete an album, and then they choose the best out of those. Bruh, well, if that was the best, bruh, then I'm excited to see what the worst looks like, bruh, because that shit was. No, no, check this out. And mostly in today in today's society of music, niggas are putting out deluxe versions. Yep. So we are going to get probably six more tracks. Yep, yep, uh, yep. In the next two weeks. You're so. right. You're right. I didn't even think about it. Probably with more features. Yep. Everybody's gonna do. They're gonna do the Pac shit. You know where they did Resurrection and everybody jumped on his old shit. It's like, you know Eminem jumped on his old shit and like all these older rappers. They 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 all. Uh, remixed his shit after he was dead that's probably what the fuck's gonna happen bro because look at look at how influential he is he was so influential that even the fucking intro and the outro are on the top charts right now even the intro and the outro that's crazy that's fucking crazy bro all them shits are on the top and, and, and let me tell you about the media this is the media bro let me tell you how sketchy the fucking media is so pop so just brought up this album correct uh so they literally just posted on Friday Pop Smoke dissing 6 9 What kind of hater shit is that, bro? So they, they posted that when he, uh, they posted that, you know, Pop Smoke was like, oh, I don't fuck with uh, 6 9 right? So 6 9 you know, he dropped the song on fucking Friday too. So I feel like they were trying to make 6 9 say some shit about Pop Smoke. Yep. Because they know 6 9 Talks yep. a lot of bad shit. Good read. You know, Good, read. Good read. Good read. You know what I'm saying? So they put out that clip just in time when they were both putting out that to try to try to create some controversy yep. around it. And then too, and I'm gonna tell Fifty this, yo, Fifty. I know you probably might not see this, or maybe you might. Y'all are hella smart. Shout Those out Fifty. He's hella smart. Y'all put out that bullshit ass cover, yep. right? Yup. Y'all yep. put that bullshit ass cover for the whole week, and then y'all came out with that bullshit. A fucking black rose, rose, man. Get the yeah. fuck out of here, bro. Y'all do the whole fucking time. Y'all just wanted to market to keep people's mind heads driven on that fucking. Album. Do you know how many fire ass fucking covers he put out? And I was like, yo, this motherfucking cover is about to be fire. Yeah. A fucking black and silver rose. Get the fuck out of my face, bro. Bullshit. Come get this nigga. You guys, you, you guys could have had a you guys could have had a fucking actual artist do some shit. And instead you guys got a fucking black and silver rose, bro. He doesn't even say the word rose once in his fucking album, bro. Not even once. Dude, what was that first up cover art, bro? What was that? A volume street three mixtape? What was that, nigga? Like, what was that, nigga? Like Oh bro, they had a, 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 a shout out 50, bro, because he's a smart businessman. That's exactly that, what you that, said. That was the marketing behind yeah. that, if y'all didn't know. Like, because I was like, bro, I know they're just doing this so to keep people like. It's exactly what it was, bro, because yeah. I, was, I was engaged. I was like, that's how I knew the album was coming out. I was, I was like, like goddamn, I'm, I'm expecting this fucking album, album cover, bro. Like, this shit better be fire. Sure enough, it came out with that bullshit. But, but that shouldn't deter you away from the content. That fucking content. Uh, album cover art can though. Look at Gunna's cover art. What it gonna have? Oh, uh, <laughs> that yeah, should be what trash. That sus ass shit, bro. This should that? be trash. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro. That should make me not even want to listen to the fucking. That's what album, I'm saying. Bro. A cover art can't fuck up some shit, bro. It really can't. To be fair, I mean, luckily I did listen to it, and that shit was fire. Oh uh, yeah. no, this is my thing about Gunna. Gunna, uh, he's good features, but he can't make a song himself. He can't or album. I'm sorry. Give me a song of Gunna. Know, that's hot, that, bro. Give me a song of Gunna. Y'all, okay, if y'all watch this in the comments, please let me know if y'all made it this far. We're at 40 minutes. Uh, 
please let me know a song gonna buy himself. He's pulling out his phone right now. I'm gonna need to Google it's that. It's gonna shit, take bro. some time. It's going to take him some time to find an actual song of Gunners that is hot of them all. Now, when it comes to features, the nigga's on one. The nigga's on one. Heat? I can't see shit with these. Heat, <laughs> by, <laughs> heat, heat by, with Chris Brown. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, dude, there's so much, man. I don't even want to. I don't even want to. Bro, Gunna, look, 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 look. I guarantee you he has something you like on that album that he did by himself. Let me no, see. No, he doesn't. Sergio Giovanni Kitchens. What a fucking name. Let me see. Dripper Drown? I bet you he has some on Dripper Drown that you like. Nigga, the albums are trash. trash. No, they're not, bro. You trying to say <laughs> Dripper Drown is trash, bro? Dripper, Dripper Drown is not trash, bro. Three head. Oh, no, yeah, that features somebody. Uh, Cash. No, that features somebody. Uh, hey, my man. My man. Hey, my man. <laughs> hey, my man. Yo, here. This is my roommate, Uso, y'all. How do you feel about this nigga, Gunner? <laughs> Come right here, just come, come right here. Come on, man, come on, come on. What up, man? I'm, I'm hot calling this bitch. What I do, what I do. Uh, can Gunna, can, can Gunna rap, bro? I mean, can Gunna make a music by himself? Damn. All right, so I'm, all I got to say is I was never really that much a fan of Gunna when he was, like, coming out with Lil Baby. You know, they're doing their thing. You know, they're cool together, but I was not, like, really impressed by either one of them. And then a little baby oh. went, a little baby went solo, and I saw really, and I saw really listening to little baby. I was like, okay, you know, he go hard. But gonna, I don't know, like you know, his own songs, he don't really go hard. But as a feature, he goes hard. But yeah, you know, I just. You don't see really, how long it's taking this nigga to. All right, I found one. I found one. I found one. Speed it up. That was a good one. He did that one by himself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know any. I don't know any solo gonna song. Speed it up was good. Speed it up was good. <laughs> okay, that's good. Not the point, all right? Not the point. Because, right, you know, he's featuring Playboy Cardi. He's featuring Young Thug. He's featuring Lil Baby. He's featuring all these motherfuckers, bro. Got it, bro. You just got to work on your... So that's, that, that's one album, right? Let me let me go to the recent one, one album. He found... Look, he was on one album, and he only found one fucking song. All right. So... be here all day, y'all. So, yeah, low-key. I'm about to be stuck on this bitch. Not the point. All right, let me put my motherfucking glasses back on. Not the point. I'm telling you right now, bro. I'm about to look. I'm, I'm about to pass out with these guys. <laughs> Shits are too red. I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. Look. So, so G -G gonna has motherfucking hits, bro. So the fuck what? He came up. Hits with people. Yeah, him and Young Thug synonymous. Hit, hit him and Lil Baby synonymous. You know what I mean? His album cover sus. Uh. I'm still listen. I'm still banging that shit, bro. Argentina, that's my shit. You ever heard that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, fuck that. That's the anyway, jam. Let's get off that. Because we're gonna trash. He's not trash. He just doesn't have singles, bro. Anybody can, uh, he might can agree with me. Nobody. And you know what? Nobody agrees with. And I'm down to fight somebody over this bullshit. Young Thug is one of the greatest ever dude of all time, bro. Yes, yes, sir. And I've had this conversation yes, with multiple motherfuckers. I've had this conversation with multiple motherfuckers, and I get heated every time. <laughs> so much fun is the best album. Uh, I'm still listening to that to this day, and that came out last year. The Barter Five, that shit right there. You could tell he fucking didn't write a single fucking lyric, and it doesn't matter because everything was fire on that album. <laughs> and that's y'all thug, y'all. And the thing is, I don't even think he's like. Really broke out. Like, he can't. That's the thing. Everybody hates on Young Thug, bro. It's not gonna be until he's dead that people are gonna be like, "Damn, Young Thug was a fucking artist." Break out to where everybody wants him when their song features. Are you kidding me right now, bro? Dude, he's not on everybody's shit. Like, I'm saying like on one like Future and Gunna. Gunna is on everybody's song. Young yeah. Thug is not on everybody's song. Once people realize that. Uh, Young Thug has his own sound and he can make a song, he can bring something to a song, that's when he's gonna break out. That's what I personally think. He hasn't really broken out. You and I are saying this nigga's a goat. We know it. He has to but be, a lot of niggas don't know that yet. So that's why I think he needs a build moment. He has to have, bro, he has commercial success. There's no way he doesn't, bro. Like, he has hits that even people that don't follow hip hop know. Like, Facts. people that don't follow hip-hop know Like, everybody knows that shit, all right? Everybody knows fucking uh, uh, other shit. I can't think of it right now, but because, you know, me, Hot Carl's hungover. But at the end of the day, I'll tell it like this. 
I guarantee you, everybody out there knows a motherfucking Young Thug song. I think Young Thug is underappreciated because of his antics, okay? The man is a free spirit. He is a legitimate rock star. If you define a rock star, bro, if you look at Aerosmith, if you look at fucking uh, 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 Rolling Stones, you look at Jimi Hendrix, you, uh, uh, you, you look at Lil Uzi, you look at any of these motherfuckers, bro, they're all free spirits and they all do sus ass shit. And that's fine. You know why? Because they're expressing themselves contrary to the to the general perception okay which means that this man has a view that nobody else has this man sees things from a different angle and that's what pisses people off listen black community the black community does not fuck with dudes that wear dresses let's just keep it a hundred let's keep it a hundred if it's us that's the reason why we don't like Tyler Perry boots I don't fuck with Tyler Perry movies, period. But I'm telling you like this. If it's sus, the black community typically tends to shun that shit. But you cannot deny that Young Thug, even though he does sus that shit, like wear it like, like, not sus to me, by the way, because I would be willing to defend the fact that he's wearing dresses for fashion. This is fashion. The dude is on some high-level shit. No, fuck that, because, yo, there's a code. A man is not supposed to wear a dress. He's not supposed to wear a wig. He's not supposed to wear makeup. That is a code. That is the... That is man one on one. I don't give a fuck. No, the nigga did the shit to get rich, and that's what happens. That, that's where it goes back to the fame thing. I really don't want to get into this, but it goes back to selling your soul. What are you doing? What would you do to get rich? What are you willing to do to get rich? Are you willing to lose your dignity, uh, or put on a dress, or put on a wig, or you know what I'm saying? In order for bro, putting on a dress and a wig to get rich and famous, bro, like who wouldn't do that shit? You mean to tell me you would, bro? You would do it? I mean, look, let, let me tell you. When I first started doing skits, y'all, I used to, I used to put on a wig and like pretend I was my grandma. Damn. And I never felt okay with it. And I would never especially do that around females. I never would want females to see me doing that. I would never shoot the actual skit. Me dressed up as a woman around them, mm. I'll shoot that separately after with them. <laughs> That's how bad it was. And then my dad, I don't know, I just, I just really thought about it. I was like, yo, it's really not okay to like dress up as it, a man. Yeah. It doesn't. And you know what kind of sparked in my eye to make to make me think it's okay? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy made me. Uh, Eddie Murphy and Martin made me think it was okay because they used to dress up as Shamir and them. That as a kid, that manipulated my mind to think that's okay. As an adult, I was a tip in that. But I mean, do you want to be known as putting on a dress and a wig, or do you want to be known for something else? So that's why I don't do that. That's the thing about Martin Lawrence and about uh, 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 Eddie Murphy and them is that. They're not just known for that. See, like that shit, their their whole body of work is so great that doing those little ass shits, that shit doesn't even touch it, bro. It doesn't even touch it. But that's always in the in the back of the brain though. That would all that no matter what, that's always in the back of the brain, regardless of their catalog or whatever they've done, it's, it's always in the back of your brain. Shanene and and uh Close. I'll tell you like this, bro. If, if if either one of them were to die today, bro, I guarantee you none of that shit shows up. I guarantee you nobody brings that shit up. No, they will. They wouldn't, bro. They wouldn't. Now, Young Thug, I guarantee you they bring it up. You know why? Because look, comedy is a different world. When you do comedy, you can do that type of shit, bro. Like like look like 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 look at a uh, Will Ferrell and them. You know what I mean? Like once they get big, bro, they kiss grown ass men in, in their mouths, bro. Like if you ever watch that Will Ferrell movie, Talladega Nights, he kissed that dude that did Borat in the fucking mouth like it's okay to do that shit in comedy because the whole point is you're gonna be the butt of the joke and that's okay because it's comedy it's what you're supposed to do but that goes back to your dignity are you okay with your dignity of like your your moral clothes I'm gonna tell you like this I would never do it I would never kiss a man in the mouth now I'll tell you a story I'm sure you're not do you know who Vicente Fernandez is Sounds familiar, but just tell the Vicente story. Fernandez, bro, is the greatest Mexican singer of all fucking time. Oh, no debate. He looks just like that. It's not that. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, PSA, PSA, everybody that doesn't know who Vicente Fernandez is, he's not the guy for the fucking hot <laughs> sauce. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but look, <laughs> he, yes, he looks like the guy from the motherfucking hot sauce bottle, but it's not him. <laughs> Let me tell you something. 
he is the greatest Mexican singer of all time, right? And he was so great in Mexico. Bro, he released like a hundred plus albums and all them bitches went super double platinum. Like Mexicans love him, right? And he used to do movies too. He used to do like those cowboy movies, you know, those Mexican cowboys movies where like they go around shooting fucking bitches, getting the bitches pregnant, and then, you know what I mean, just getting money, doing all that shit. By the way, Shad, look, if you motherfuckers ever want to get high and watch a Mexican movie, trust me, there's some movies out there that you guys can watch. Just like you can watch some karate movies, there's some ranchero movies, bro, where you be like, damn, this motherfucker's a G. Back to the point. Shit. Not novellas, not novellas, because that. <laughs> now. If you, they, they did a movie with Vicente Fernandez, right? Mm -hmm. And they were like, Vicente, we want you to kiss a man in the mouth. That's what they asked him to do in the movie, right? It was supposed to be his son in the movie. He's like, you're so, the, the emotion is, you love your son so much, you never, you might not ever see him again. Mwah, kiss him in the mouth, right? This was back in the 90s. Vicente Fernandez goes, if you ever say some shit like that to me again, I swear to God, I'll slap you in your fucking mouth. The dude goes like this. He goes, look, Vicente, we will double your, uh, we will double your contract money number. Like, this shit can be big. You got to understand. Vicente Fernandez had, did not finish the movie. He quit right then and there. Vicente Fernandez did not do the kissing. He let go of all that cash. Stop the movie. That shit was never released. He never kissed another man in the mouth, bro. And it's up to what you want to do. If you already have the riches, the riches and the fame, the bitches, all that shit, bro. At the end of the day, bro, you don't have to do shit you don't want to do. If you do it, it's because you sus. All right, and this is uh, this is gonna be our last topic. This is gonna be uh, good because we're running into an hour almost. Low key. Uh, so uh, this is gonna be a great transition. This goes into Will Smith right now. Will Smith, when he first started, I low key heard that he got raped by some man in a film. Or when the fuck did you? I heard that. I know. He he got raped. He, he had sex with a man. Like, you know, he got raped by, uh, in a movie. This is true shit. I don't what know what it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll make a uh, vouch for Yeah, we might need one. to Google that, bro, because I, I never heard that true. shit. That's blasphemous. No, it's Sir, true. that's a it's, slander. It's true. Uh, but uh, that's what I heard. That's what I heard, okay? And I heard some weird stuff about Will, but hey. We're going to get into this Will Smith shit. Low key. Now, um,. Man, how can I? Uh, uh, I'm gonna just say it like this. August, you're a bitch ass nigga for snitching and telling like that. You a hoe, Dude, bro. You didn't have to do all you that. You didn't bro. have to do shit, bro. Just you catch your nut and bounce. Yeah, because one, for one, no one's not checking for you. No one's not checking for that album. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, I would feel bad if I was Will. This is Will Smith, y'all. Almost every nigga in the world look up. To Will Smith as a father. This is a man that a rapper just let out a song where he talks about how he is the motherfucking reason he is the man he is today. And then you have this fucking anime fucking uh, Wendy spokesperson, bitch ass nigga. Oh, the shit light came off. Hold on. All right, B. Uh. Damn. Anyway, you need to pay your electricity bill, though. No, I don't know why they're doing that. But uh, no, seriously, he didn't have to do that, bro. That, that's he didn't, bro. Bullshit, bro. He, he didn't. Did and, I, and I don't fuck with you on that one, bro. I fuck with the song you made for Jada, bro. I'm pretty sure when you showed Jada that song, bro, you were stroking the shit out of me, bro. To that. And Jada looks to have some fire, bro. Real shit. Like, to make a nigga do all that? <laughs> Must be. Come on. Fucking. <laughs> she must have got a snatcher, y'all. That shit. Wow, dude. You pull it out, it's probably just drenched, nigga. Like, soaked. Uh, soaked. <laughs> that shit drips. Woo. Man. Look, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. Look. August, <laughs> August Alcina has single handedly. Ruined Will Smith's chances of becoming president of the United States, bro. You think so? Yes, bro. Fuck that. We got I Trump am in not the chair. We got Trump in the Will. fucking chair. That nigga has done a lot of crazy shit. Will Smith will still get our vote. Bro, he, I mean, yeah. Will 
Look at Loki do any fucking thing in the world. He can't bro. be president he now, bro. Get our he can't be president now. Fuck that. Dude. Thanks to yeah. August Alcina, yeah. all he had to do was keep his motherfucking mouth shut. He doesn't keep his mouth shut. So now, so now, you know what I mean? Now, one of the greatest black men to ever do anything on this fucking planet. He's be, he's getting done dirty. I would have voted for Will Smith a few weeks ago. Now I can't say I vote for him, bro. I can't have the first lady of the White House over here catching catching outside dick. No, man. No, I can't have that, bro. I can't. I, I can't have that, bro. So that's why I'm voting for Kanye. That, you know what's so weird about it? Fucking uh, Jaden and uh, Willow Smith are just there, bro. And, and here's a quote from uh, Jada. Jada's like, "Yo, I could be with someone on this side of the house." Hey, you can be with someone on the other side wow. of the house. But we still gonna be fucking together. What is that? I low key fuck with What that. is that? Because, because think about it, you do get tired what is of that? your girl that you're with sometimes. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Just imagine being married for like 20 some years. Oh, shit. If she gives you that option, yo, like, yeah, you could fuck someone else as long as I can too. Would you be down? Look, bro, look, look, I've had, I've, look, okay. <clears throat> Glasses gotta come off for this one. Oh, shit. shit. Okay, headphones gotta come off for this one. All right, look, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. I'm telling like this, look, bro. I can fuck other bitches, okay? That it's in my heart to do so, okay? It's in my nature to do so. My daddy did it. My granddaddy did it. I got this fresh cut. Like, I'm not gonna say no. How can you not, bro? I'm telling you like this though, bro. I cannot have my bitch fuck another man, bro. I right. cannot okay. have it, bro. I can't have it. Even if it was... Now, here's the thing. My perception on the subject has changed slowly. Like, when I was 18, bro, I would be willing to kill that bitch and the dude. Nowadays, you get older, you mature, you're like, if she cheats, it is what it is, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You're just gonna have to let shit go. So, nothing says that, say I had 40, going on 50, I've been with my lady for, like, 20 plus years, and I'm just like... Baby, like, if you feel the way I do, who am I to keep you from wanting what you want? Like, you know what I mean? I want to make you happy, and if, and if getting some brand new dick makes you happy, then go ahead. Like, nothing says that at 40 I won't be able to do that, but at the moment, bruh, I can't have that shit, bruh. I can't have that shit. You got to, think about Will Smith. You have to be a real ass fucking, you're Will Smith to say you're going to let another nigga fuck your bitch and, and a young nigga at that that yep. can sing yep. or, or and being singer it's not just some ordinary nigga who's like, probably slanging like 8 plus inches of my male bro like he's not playing around extra and longer a extra thick Hey, pause. Oh, when that nigga <laughs> sings, but that nigga whines. Bro. 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 Whine. I would not want my bitch getting fucked by a nigga like that. Who can you know why? Because, because that means she can whine to him, too. That's, that's what that, that, that means, bro. That means that he brings that part out of her. And I'm not doing that. I'm not bringing out no whiny part. I And, and that, that makes me self-conscious. I'm like, well, how, so this is what this man can provide that I can't. But you know what? He's Will Smith. Will Smith has everything, bro. So, so, so which, but the question, I don't, me personally, I don't know if I'll be okay with it. Because I like your idea of saying, like, yeah, uh, I can fuck other bitches, but you can't. Yeah. But then again, I don't really know. I can handle that. Now let me now tell you something. Look, 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 look. Check this out. I've had this conversation with my mom, right? This, now, this is a good story. Check this shit out. I had I had talked to my mom, right? And this was the first time I have cheated in every relationship I have been in. I this this is not a secret. Everybody knows this. I have never yes yes every bro. I and she was the greatest thing that ever happened in my life, bitch. Come back like that. Come back. I love you, bitch. All right. Anyway. I'll tell you like this, bro. Every relationship from day one, I've cheated. And you know what? I've never told my mom one. And, oh, girl. that Because cause the one that he knows that we have mutual friends with, you know what I mean? I felt bad about it when it happened. So I called my mom up, right? And I was like, Mom, I need to talk to you. Because I was like, I think this might be an issue. I think this might be a problem. So I'm like, Mom, yo, this might be a... I cheated on a relationship. Like, you know, you, I know you met the girl. I know you like her. And, you know, like, I, in, in my mind, I'm thinking, like, my dad was a piece of shit. And I'm coming out to my mom is this, right? And, 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 and I told her the whole story. I'm like, you know, it was a moment of temptation. And it happened. I did it. And I don't feel, I don't like it. And I feel like I got to come to you to tell me something. My mom said this to me. And let me tell you something, bro. This is how you know. This is how you know that it's not our fault, bro. Cheating is not our fault, bro. My mom said this to me. She goes, it's fine, papi. Like, you're a man. 
That's what men do. Your dad did it. Your grandpa did it. Look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z has Beyonce, the baddest bitch in the game. And he cheated. You know what? I can't hold that against you, baby boy, if you do what you do. And... Part of me was like, let's go, mom. Part of me was like, fuck, my mom has been treated this way before, bro. Like, you know, it hurt. But at the end of the day, bro, like, it's in my nature to do this shit. It's different when you think of a woman that does it, bro. Is it a double standard? Maybe. But... It's, it's, not their, their, it's not in their nature to the. That's the thing. It really hurts you if they do. Because the thing is like this. You always catch a dog fucking, but you never see a cat fucking. That part. <laughs> Think about it. You, never, you always catch a dog fucking humping some shit, but you've never seen two cats fucking. Right? I'm going to get that tatted. Think about it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that's. I mean, I fucked this Yeah, we. We are men. And I was talking to someone yesterday. And, um,. She was like, yo, this dude, he cheated on me, this is that. And I was just like, you know. I was like, let me hit. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, I can't. I couldn't do that. The uh, thing is, uh, I was like, yo, we're 20. Yep. Yep. We're in our 20s. Yep. We're black. If we uh, uh, black people in our choice, we don't get married this, this early. We don't. We're not Mexican. You got to yeah, yeah. yeah. with their twenties. You got to be a special kind of black person in order yeah, to get married. Yeah, it's early very 20s, rare bro. for us to like it doesn't you know, happen. get married like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I try to tell girls or anybody too, too just fucking enjoy yep. life yep. while you can. Yep. Learn from the experiences that you're dealing with with that person mm-hmm. because life is all about the experience and you learn. Things don't make you weaker; they only make you. They only make you stronger. One hundred percent. You feel me? So but, uh, I feel that. Shit, that was, uh, that was a good podcast. Bro, I'm yeah. telling you right now, bro, that was a whole hour of legitimate fire. We're just talking shit. Uh, you know, we were chopping it up, y'all. This is the first episode of Chopping It Up. We're going to have another one for y'all uh, next week. I'm the homie Prince. You guys already know what it is. Hey, man, look, follow me at cal.usus. Pause, all right? You touched me twice already. Bro. <laughs> anyway, follow me at Cal underscore Royale. That's Royal with an E, all right? This shit, look, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. I've been waiting for some shit like this to happen, bro. I think I might restart my own fucking podcast too, low key. You know what I mean? If you guys want to go catch up on some of my old episodes, uh, Creeping in the Basement with Uncle Carl, go ahead and uh, listen to that wherever you get your podcast, bro. And I'm literally on everything. Yeah, uh, we're going we to do another episode, y'all. So uh, if you guys do see this, you know, let us know in the comments what y'all want us to talk, talk about. Yep. Talk up about. Yep. Uh, my Instagram is at Prince Phillips. Yep. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok, uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, on uh, pretty much everything, all platforms. Yep. And uh, we're going to get shit going, y'all. So uh, just be on the lookout, and y'all enjoy this weekend. Yeah. Deuce. <laughs> that was good, though. I think I'm about to get litty though. Huh? I see some bitches with beauty though. Yeah. Fuck a bitch, put it on video. What? I think I'm about to get litty though. Huh? I see so many.